And welcome back to another video of I do stupid things so you don't have to. <laughs> this is a wall of spiders. That is another wall of spiders. Pretty much just tarantulas, so Australian tarantulas. It's been a year since I think I've filmed any tarantula stuff. There's a tarantula right there. So, tarantulas don't do too much. They spend all their time in their enclosures, look pretty. Occasionally at midnight when you see them when they come out because they're nocturnal feed crickets, that is it. But I have done a stupid thing and I have brought a queen ant and some worker ants. Yay! <laughs> and it's a species that apparently no one can keep alive in captivity. Whoops. So we're going to give it a red hot go. I'm going to make one of these ant for a for a carrium things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It is going to go maybe here, so I think I'm going to move this wall. These are only little tiny narrow exoterras, and only I think about four or five of these tanks, well, maybe ten of these tanks have spiders in them. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, about fifteen of these tanks have spiders in them, so I think I can safely move some of this stuff. Maybe have, I don't know, I might have it here, and then have a row of spiders there, and maybe two tanks underneath. Yeah, what are we doing? We're having fun. <laughs> so, let's get started and move some tanks and I'll put a big enclosure in here. And it is a few hours later. <laughs> oh wow, what am I even doing? So I have floor to ceiling tanks now. I've managed to arrange them around this giant tank, which is was well, not that big. It's two foot by three foot, so 60 centimeters by 90 centimeters. It is a custom tank. So apart from a few holes in the mesh in the lid, up there somewhere, I do need to get better lighting because I'm not gonna be able to grow plants with just one LED. So I will get some high intensity LEDs. This is my current potential ant setup. Yes, I know. The whole idea is tons and tons of places for them to crawl on because they're tree ants growing some um, plants up these and then probably a bigger one with bigger leaves in the middle because they make the nests with the bigger leaves so i reckon there's enough room in there for a decent size hardy plant with big leaves maybe one of those happy plants or something like that and then a whole lot of sedoniums all growing up these into there so it'll probably be pretty densely planted hopefully i'll still be able to see the ants but that is where we are now we have our hardscape which is just what is this stuff this is grapevine of all things i know <laughs> all the ant people will be freaking out if they ever see this video disclaimer do not copy anything i do but you can watch <laughs> it is just zip tied in place i think it looks pretty cool um i tried to give them enough places to do their climby thing and their little scent trails and stuff but yeah i think plants growing up the sides sedoniums are super easy to grow They'll be fine in here. They'll increase the humidity in there as well. I've got a decent layer of substrate. I'm gonna put some bark on top. Cypress bark stuff. Not that you can see that, cypress bark stuff. Yeah, and it should be fine. Um, for the door, I think I'm gonna do a solid piece of perspex somehow, and then have like a little opening portal thing. Because, yeah, if I have the sliding glass doors, they're going to go straight out the sliding glass doors. But also, <laughs> you open a door and 10,000 ants come out. No! 10,000 ants that bite and then apparently spit acid in the bite. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, but we don't want ants coming out, obviously, into a room full of tarantulas. So, that is where we are. Um, we're going to jump back with the plants in it. So, it's a few hours later and I have my plants in there but I don't know if I like it <laughs> I always always do this it's yeah one, once the plants are growing in it should be fine it looks kind of very dense I do need to get another light this purple light's kind of annoying me a little bit I know it looks probably kind of cool on camera but it's purple so it is a high intensity LED, but it is actually a marine LED. So I do need to get some fresh water LEDs, fresh water, you know, so they'll grow the plants better. Um, but I do want two of them on there. So one on the back, one on the front. But that is where we are with these. I might turn, that didn't make any difference, did it? I turned the room light on. 
that is our planted area. So lots of cytodoniums. I've got whatever that stuff is, which was growing in the garden, which does work in my spider tank. So I've had that there for the last year or so growing. So it grows pretty well. I'm sure I could figure the name out if I wanted to. Where is that spider? Make sure the spider doesn't lunge out at me. <laughs> that is my 2006 Crassipedes, which I've had since 2006. That's a long time. However many days, years, whatever that is. That's a long time, 2006. Oh, are we, what are we? I don't even know what year we're in. We're 2023, so... That's nearly 20 years. Wow, another three years, it'll be 20 years old, that spider. Scary. Yeah, so this is where we are anyway. I have not done the panel at the front, so I'm just gonna let it grow in for like a month or so, because we've got time for the ants to actually, yeah, multiply and they're big enough to actually go in this. Otherwise they'll go in here. They won't have enough larvae to build their nest because the whole idea is they will use their larvae to get a couple of these leaves and join the leaves up so then they've got the right humidity and all that in there and I think with the whole front on this as well it's going to retain the humidity and the temperature fine because this room does heat up with all these tanks if it does get too cold I can always put a heat pad on one side as well well actually even the base it's hollow underneath with the glass so I can actually stick a heat pad underneath that'll bring more humidity up with the substrate which will be moist yes that is where we are so I don't know about the plant in the middle. What do they call Happy plant or something? Uh, there will be a scientific name on the internet. You can go search for that. But I think that is probably the best plant that I can use that has big leaves that they can work with. I don't know if they're going to be able to make a nest with the Sidoniums or if they're going to use this sort of stuff. <sighs> It's hard to say. I don't want to stuff it up, so I may end up replacing this plant. Might just let it grow in for a little bit, see what happens. I have a horrible suspicion it's just going to grow too tall, but I think if I cut the top off it, it'll just grow more shoots out of it as well. There's a decent amount of substrate in there, so it should be fine. Yes, that is our first ant house. Hopefully it will be okay. Um, yeah, let's jump to some more stuff. And would you believe the worst thing that could happen has happened? Oh. So my aunt, my lovely, lovely $200 aunt, I think it was like 180 or something with postage. Uh, I went to feed them. So they had a little cricket leg the other day, or I think yesterday. So I went to give them a little bit of sugar water because they eat sugar water. And the queen is dead. Yes, my expensive ant lasted four days. Oh, I'm not entirely sure what happened. The temperature was in the proper range. I haven't disturbed them apart from giving them a cricket leg yesterday. So, yeah, I don't know. I even had the little test tube taped down so it wouldn't move around. It's in a quiet room where no one goes. Ah, I know, stuff happens. Maybe she was just stressed from being moved. No idea. It wasn't even warm yesterday. I think you know, the room would have got max 28, 30 degrees, which is perfectly fine for these guys because they are a tropical ant. I don't know. Apparently they were notoriously hard to keep alive, but I thought they would last four days. The problem is now that once the queen is dead, all those workers and the larvae will not survive. So they won't produce another queen. Uh, they'll last for a few months. I know. So, I mean, I can feed them. I might put them in a little tub, give them food and that. So they've got a few months of doing ant stuff until they slowly die. So usually in the wild, the queen just reproduces more workers, more eggs, and they keep replacing themselves that way. Uh, once she stops laying eggs and the workers hatch, that's it. There is no one to replace them once they die. So I think we've got a couple of months of... 30 or so green ants, ah, and then that's it. So now I have a lovely formicarium, no ants. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to purchase another queen ant. Hopefully she will last longer than four days. 
I will try and research more to find out what possibly could have gone wrong. I'm guessing she just didn't travel well or she was stressed for some reason. Such a painful thing to happen. But yes, that's why I'm doing this, so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, at least... We're probably another month or two away from moving anything into this, so by that time, it should be pretty epic. I may lose that plant, maybe do a different plant, I'm not entirely sure. But yes, this is the first update in my Ant Formicarium stuff. <laughs> there may be a second update, I'm not entirely sure. Um, if you've got any comments or any suggestions, comment down below. That would be wonderful. Yes, I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, I have researched them. I am quite aware that they are nearly impossible to keep long-term in captivity. But yeah, four days. I thought they would last longer than four days. Obviously, I probably stuffed up and stressed them by putting a cricket leg in. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> dear. Anyway, we will research a little bit more. We will purchase another queen. Then, once she's got more workers, and this is all ready, we will hopefully have them move in. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, a bit of a painful video. Yeah, I will try and do more updates on tarantulas and stuff like that. They just sort of don't do anything. So they sit there, they eat, and that's it. I don't even think, if I open that gently, you can even see them. There is one in that log. Let me see if I can enlarge, enlarge the photo, the moving photo. Hold on. I don't know if you saw that, but that was her leg. <laughs> I'm not going to stick my finger in there. She will race out. <sighs> I will put some footage on screen of some of the tarantulas because, you know, they come out at night. But that is where we are. That is my total $200 ant fail. At least I have a nice setup for them. Yeah, I will probably tweak it a fair bit. Hopefully all these plants will grow in quite well. Um, yeah, I'll do a makeshift door. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. Hopefully it won't be a fail. <laughs> see ya.